Hi and welcome back to the channel. Now this is just a really really short update. It's move on day today and I went for my morning walk with Archie and we decided that we were going to go back to visit White Cairn. Now that is, as you will have already seen, an ancient burial chamber and today is Halloween. So I was a bit scared. Well, to be honest, I was really scared because you know your mind gets going and you start thinking about about all those dead bodies and there'll be ghosts but I thought it's not really the witching hour so we'll probably be all right and so we plucked up our spirits and our, and decided that's where we were going to go. So when we got up to White Cairn we had a look at the sign again and it suggests that that particular burial chamber has been there for about 5,000 years so that's like 3,000 years BC and that means it was I think generally the prehistoric Britain, would it have been the Stone Age? I'll come back to you on that particular point. But anyway, being kind of a little bit, I don't know, geeky and walking, mind gets wandering. I was thinking, oh gosh, how things will have changed in, fa in those 5,000 years. And then I started to get the numbers going in my head and thinking, how many generations ago would that have been? Um, and so I thought, well, how many generations are? Let, let's assume a generation is 25. Now, I know there'll be historians and archaeologists saying, oh no, you know, it might be 25 now, but years ago, but just go with me on this. So I was thinking, well, let's go with an average of one generation being 25 years. So in 100 years, that's four generations. Um, and some of us have even lucky enough to have four generations of, of our family. I'm sure that wouldn't have happened 5,000 years ago. So I then think, okay, so in 100 years, that's four generations. That means in 1,000 years, that's 40 generations. And therefore, 5,000 years ago, so five times 40, that is 200 in my little tiny brain. So 200 generations ago there'd have been people buried in that burial chamber so that got me then thinking about well who was around 5,000 years ago in that this part of Scotland and at the time there'd have been predominantly nomadic people although there is there is some evidence that there were some settlements but predominantly nomadic people hunter-gatherers you know hunting for wild animals and and foraging wild plants to give them food and then what, what, what did they die of and so i had a little bit of a kind of google and found out that actually the majority of people would have died by infections whether that be infectious diseases or infections caused by wounds from fighting or accidents imagine you're like chopping a tree down and yeah, they would have had an axe, even if it was a stone axe. Or even just running, imagine. You know, they might have had bare feet, I don't know. But whenever I have bare feet, I like tiptoe around going... Uh, imagine if you were running around with bare feet and you got a stick through your foot and then it would became infected and no antibiotics or modern medicines or out like that. So they would have died of infectious diseases. Maybe some got beheaded, I don't know. Hung, I, you know, what were the laws like then? And having done a, a, another bit of Googling, life expectancy would have been about you know, 35. I think it's kind of 79 in modern Britain today, but age 35. Now, life expectancy doesn't mean that everyone dies at 35. It just means like an average of the population will live till about 35. But wow, you definitely, you won't even have grandparents, will you, most of the time? Most of the time, there'll only ever be two generations of people. So there you go. I just thought I'd give you this rather random update because of my mind and how it works when I'm out on a walk, chatting away to Archie. He's good, he's good to chat to, actually, because he doesn't say much, but he's a really good listener. And there's me going through all of these thoughts thoughts in my mind which to most people are probably quite geeky but you know it made me come back and start looking some stuff up so just as I promised a little bit of an update in Scotland the Bronze Age started in about 4,500 years ago uh, so 2,500 BC which means that 5,000 years ago when that ancient burial chamber was first built and was being used they were still in the Stone Age so their wounds would definitely have been caused by stone axes rather than bronze axes or all those other things. Maybe some wolves. I guess there were, there were probably wild wolves then. Like, so there you go. There's my quick update.